as you continue down your path of your Tai Chi practice, in the beginning, you're working on forming your body. And then as you progress, you start to gain more power, more internal strength. You release blockages in your body and chi begins to flow. And so it's important also to start getting more curious about the philosophies behind Tai Chi because these philosophies will help guide you so that the power that you are building doesn't corrupt you. In the beginning, we follow rules. Rules are for the beginners who are living by instinct before they develop higher thinking. And as you progress down your Tai Chi practice you and your discovery of the philosophy behind Tai Chi, you start to develop principles that you follow. The principles supersede the rules. And these principles begin to develop your code of ethics. And this code of ethics is what helps guide you on your path. And, the, and as such, you don't go down the path of corruption, corrupting the power that you're building within you through your Tai Chi practice. Tai Chi is based on basic principles from three important philosophical thinkings. Buddhism, Confucianism, and Taoism. Bud a basic principle of Buddhism is compassion. Love everyone, no matter who they are or how they are. And a basic principle of Confucianism is benevolence. To love everyone like they're your family. Mother, father, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, distant relatives. And a basic principle of Taoism is to be your natural self because your natural self is part of the natural way, which is the Tao. In order to know what, who is your natural self, you need to have self-awareness and know who you are. And knowing who you are, you build that awareness through your practice of Tai Chi. So having compassion and loving others, being benevolent and treating everyone as if, like they're your family, and living your natural way and being yourself are three important principles taken from these great lines of thought that will bring you great happiness. Mm -hmm.